Hello and welcome to another week in my life as a SCAD student. This is week four of spring quarter starting with Sunday. We made our way to Community Bible Church, also known as CBC, for one of their Sunday morning services. After that, we decided to order from Chatham Grill, which you saw that we used the Order Up app, which you just sign into your meal plan on there and can order from any of the SCAD dining halls. I ordered a crispy chicken sandwich, like Chase, with fries, and Heather got some sort of grilled sandwich while Gabby got a pizza. When we got back to the dorm, I grabbed my laundry from underneath my bed and made my way down to the bottom floor where the laundry room is. While the clothes were washing, I got some work done in the dorm. Then I went back down when the load was done, carried the clothes up the elevator, and hung up the clothes that needed to be dried without a dryer. Here's Molly! <laughs> I decided to go to the Gen Library. Sometimes I don't always focus best in my dorm, so I enjoy getting out and going to the library or different SCAD facilities. You can see that I biked there. I would totally recommend using the SCAD bike share or bringing your own bike. It's one of my most favorite things to do around Savannah and get around, get some fresh air. Here is inside of the library, just working on some things. It's a pretty productive afternoon. When I finished my work, I decided to bike over to Chatham for dinner again, but I got something different in the evening. I got a salmon teriyaki bowl, which is definitely one of my favorite orders. After picking it up, I decided to take it over to Forsyth Park, which is right next to Chatham and Deloitte Foundry. I just people watched and had some quiet time in the beautiful park. How's it going, Addie? It's going pretty good, Mia. I'm making <laughs> Ooh. Right now, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh my so. gosh! Yay. Look at this! So cool though. 3D design, right? 3D design. Woohoo! <laughs> Changed into my bathing suit and cover up, braided my hair, and walked down to the pool to meet some friends to hang out with and swim around a little bit. It is located at the back of the hive, but all SCAD students have access to it. They also have some swings and a little indoor area here with a TV and foosball table. A lot of times they'll also leave out floaties, beach balls, pillows for you to use, such as that flamingo I was on. When I got back up to the dorm, I got ready for bed by taking a shower, eating a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie, brushing my teeth, and doing my devotion. On Monday morning, I woke up for my 8 a.m., made my bed, got ready, and then I went to go check on my computer which stopped charging randomly the day before and died. And then it just wouldn't charge, turn on anything. Don't worry, it ended up turning on a couple days later. Anyways, here is me at my Film 115 class at Hamilton Hall. And also during break here, eating a cliff bar I got from the sea store at the Hive. When that class is over, I drove to the Savannah Film Studios for my second film class. Okay, so I'm currently looking at the classes available tonight, and I think that I'm gonna do either yoga. I think I'm gonna go to, I haven't gone to a spin class before, and I think I might do that, because I have not tried one before. I booked that class using the SCAD Fit app, which any SCAD student has access to. I love going to the various classes they offer at the different fitness facilities. Here is me going into my Film 232 class, lighting and camera. Almost every day we would have an equipment workshop where we got hands-on experience with the equipment taught. When class was over, I went back to the hive, got some food at the cafe, and tried to turn on my computer once again, which was not working, so I edited from my iPad, which was a new experience. SCAD also has various computer labs that I could have used as well. After doing a little bit of work on there, I went to the spin class at SCAD Fit. I loved it. It was my first time ever doing a spin class and the instructor was so fun, energetic, and positive. Totally just brightened up my day. He made fitness so much fun. 
after the gym, I walked back to the dorm to get ready for an RA meet and greet because I will be an RA at Victory Village next year. So I grabbed a bite to eat from the Hive Cafe and drove over to Victory Village for the meeting. When I got back to the Hive, I worked on a little bit of my design homework, set out my outfit for the next day, and said goodnight. On Tuesday morning, I woke up for my design three-time class. I decided to bike over there. It's right at her stand hall, so it's a good walk too. When you come inside, you'll see that the classes are very bright and open with all the windows. I biked back to the Hive when class was over and went to the Hive Cafe after putting my things away at the dorm. I decided to get some stir fry on this day. They have a little stir fry bar where you can put together the ingredients and then they'll cook them up for you. When I finished eating lunch, I got ready for SCAD serve. This particular service opportunity was a Paint Our Parks one at a local elementary school. It was led by SCAD serve alumni ambassador Joe Dreher, who came up with this vision for the mural out of illustrations of kids at this school. He also led us through these types of paintings, which was really cool to take back with us. SCAD serve is a really cool opportunity to be able to give back to the community in a creative way, so definitely join. Time to dumpster dive. Woo. I needed to collect pieces of trash and cardboard for a project I was working on, which you will see me film the next day. Molly and I got Dorito taco salads from Chatham for dinner and had some card jam sessions. We came back to the dorm for a little bit and then I biked my way over to the SCAD Manor meeting. When it was finished, I went to Clark Hall to work on a couple of things on one of their computers. When I was finished, I biked back to the dorm and talked to Therese about her Amigos New Wibos meal. How is it? This one was actually pretty scrumptious. They gave me my rice for once. Oh, yeah. they usually don't do that. Mm. Um, they didn't give me the cilantro sour cream, oh. which is fine because they've never given it to me. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm, I don't know I'm missing out. <laughs> Quesadilla, slay. The pickled onions on it, slay. The peppers, slay. The meltedness of the cheese. Seven out of ten. The chips? They're usually stale. Are they not stale today? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Kind of, kind of it's stale. because they leave like the, the... The dome. Yeah, the dome open. The little house. That was good. On Wednesday morning, I woke up and got ready for my Film 115 class at 8 a.m. Here's Heather and Lainey. They were going to acting for the camera on the first level. Here is Jillian. In this class, we were working on tagging our scripts and doing a scene and script breakdown for them. I personally was working on a 15-page segment of The Fault in Our Stars. After Film 115 pre-production to set, I went to Film 232, Lighting and Camera, where we had yet again another equipment workshop. class was over, I went back to the hive to get something to eat and then got ready to head to the beach with Gabby to film my design time project. This was my second project of the class and I had to incorporate a wearable piece of some sort. So I covered myself in garbage while wearing the piece. I performed wasteful actions such as wasting cereal, plastic cups, silverware, and then to finish the performance, I got up from my seat, walked around, and waded in the water with all of the cardboard pieces on, letting the pieces float and wash up on the sand, symbolizing the way that humans are so oblivious to the normality of the wasteful actions, causing not only deterioration to the environment, but also our connection to nature. I then projected the project onto a piece of cardboard where you can see a face on the wall representing a human's impact. My professors and classmates were able to really challenge me and push ideas into this project. Big shout out to Gabby for filming a lot of the clips for me. Oh, 
and we keep getting in his fishing zone. Scaring away all the fish. He's one of the prettiest fish in the sea. <laughs> We cleaned up everything that we utilized for the project, watched the sunset, and then headed to Chatham for dinner. What are you writing today, Gabby? Put it on the screen. Okay. When I got back, I showered, uploaded the footage to my hard drive, and went to bed. On Thursday, I woke up early for my 8 a.m. design time. For those of you who don't know, there's a paper mill in Savannah. And on random days, Savannah can stink. And today, guys, it's so strong. Just about every day during break, I would come down to the first floor and watch people out of this window while I ate the cutie for breakfast. I biked back to the hive and got lunch at the cafe. Here are some of the food options. On this particular day, they had sweet potato fries, which I love. So I had those, some pineapple, and some stir fry. After lunch, I was super excited because when I got back to the dorm, my computer finally turned on after three days. I literally had an appointment that afternoon to get it fixed. Then I took a nap and Gabby and I went to the gym after I woke up. back to the dorm, I took a shower, got some homework done, and then watched one of my family friends on YouTube, Brie Marie, talked with the Brimies, then went to bed. On Friday morning, Molly, Heather, and I woke up for a SCAD serve opportunity at Union Mission, the clothing closet. Union Mission started as a small soup kitchen, but then grew to a multi-facility organization that helps the homeless population in the greater Savannah area. Anyone in Savannah can shop at the Union Mission clothing closet. We were able to sort through different donations, determining what was good and needed to be thrown away versus hung up. If you are located in Savannah and are looking for a great place to volunteer and give back to the community, I would absolutely recommend trying to for this organization. When we got back to the hive, we stopped at the cafe for some lunch, then saw Reese back at the door <laughs> before showering and putting some clean clothes on, doing some homework, and taking a nap. When I woke up, it was time to go to Forsyth Park for a student ambassador mentor mingle. During spring quarter, I had my training season to become a student ambassador for the rest of my time at SCAD. So here was my mentor, Amelia. We got to hang out during this little mentor mingle. I decided to bike around Savannah a little bit and then headed back to the dorm before picking Gabby up and going to Olive Garden for dinner. When we got back, I walked up to the dorm and joined my roommates for a TikTok dance. We did indeed end up waking Heather and Reese up with this song. We drove over to Origin Coffee Bar, which is my personal favorite coffee shop in Savannah. It is definitely walkable from the Hive. We just drove because they have student parking and we were planning on driving somewhere right after. 
think it tastes just too much like tea. I am not much of a coffee or tea person, but I did want to branch out a little bit, so I decided to order a matcha, but I was not a fan. And an employee actually saw that and let me order a hot chocolate for free, which was literally so sweet. We spent quite a lot of time here just getting some work done before making our way over to the Sidewalk Arts Festival in Forsyth Park. We parked at Anderson Hall and walked over to Forsyth Park to see all of the beautiful chalk artwork. Any SCAD student, alumni, or local high school student can enter to create chalk artwork within those different categories. After making our way down every sidewalk to view every beautiful piece of artwork, we went back to the dorm where I had my Olive Garden leftovers for lunch, watched Love is Blind, and then worked on some film homework until later when I got a craving for Smoothie King. So Heather and I went. When we got back, I got some more work done, and then Molly and I ordered some quesadillas later that night from Amigos Nuevos. So we picked those up, went by the convenience store to get snacks, ate our meals, and got ready for bed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.